So I watched my first ever rom-com anime and uh, this is how it went. So I've been recommended a bunch of rom-coms in my life. I've been recommended stuff like Love is War, Toradora, Horimiya. Actually, I think I even watched the first couple of episodes of Horimiya. I think like the first two episodes, it was okay. But there is a new rom-com anime that's coming out right now and it's extremely popular. Last week, I believe it even did better than Attack on Titan and Demon Slayer, which is literally insane. And I think this should tell you something about the anime community as a whole. The anime I sat down and watched was called My Dress Up Darling, and you probably all know what this is. You have most likely already seen the character in my thumbnail. Uh, the character goes by the name of Marin. She's basically the main female cast for this entire series. I'm gonna give you my thoughts, what I think about rom-com anime, and what I think about this specific anime. But listen, if you want more anime content like this, anime recommendations, manga recommendations, make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel, turn on the post notification bell. Um, I upload anime content every single week, so you might not want to miss out. And also, if you turn on that post notification bell, when I upload, you will be notified so you can comment early. So, and when you comment early, I can reply. So there you go. So let's talk about the rom-com genre as a whole. I'm going to be straight up. This is probably a hot take. I'm not a huge fan of rom-coms. I'm going to be straight up. Most of the time, I do think a lot of moments that are found within rom-coms tend to be cringy. And for some reason, I can never get past the first couple of episodes. However, with My Dress Up Darling, while it did have its cringy moments, I did find it somewhat wholesome. Here's the thing about me. I could watch a romance, okay? Just don't make it too cringy, if that makes sense. This anime so far is pretty wholesome. I'm not gonna lie. There's only currently seven episodes and I'm caught up. I caught up last night. I do wish they would ease off with the fan service. I'm not a, I'm not the biggest fan of fan service in any anime. I do understand why they're putting it there. They're, they know who their target market is. And I don't know if the anime would be as popular as it is without the fan service. So quick warning if you haven't watched the anime, um, there are a couple of fan service moments. There's not a lot, but there are a few. So what is My Dress Up Darling even about? I'm going to give you like a quick two second rundown. Basically our main male cast, Gojo, is a doll maker. Now not just any doll maker, he makes henna doll specifically, which is like some sort of like customary Japanese doll. I believe it is traditional. And he basically meets Marin Kitagawa, who is the main female cast, right? And she's like the popular outgoing character. So she's like the extrovert while he's the introvert. And she's very into cosplaying. So she loves to cosplay. And obviously since Gojo makes dolls, he knows how to make clothing in a sense, right? And they basically go from there, right? He starts making the clothes that she cosplays. Um, there's more to it obviously than that, but that's just a quick two second rundown. So how do I feel about my dress up darling? I honestly think it's good. I'm gonna be straight up. It's enjoyable to watch, okay? It, it has its wholesome moments. Like for me, I'm a huge fan of Disney and when Disney has wholesome moments, I really do appreciate them. And this anime is filled with its wholesome moments. Oh, another point I wanna make is, okay, so I've watched a couple of rom-coms in the past, right? I've watched a bit of Horimi, I've watched other rom-com movies. I've generally watched more rom-com like live actions than I have animes. Um, usually the main two casts, sometimes they try to make it so where they connect right? And sometimes it doesn't work out. Um, in this one, it does, right? You could see he's the doll maker and she's basically his doll. Like in a sense, they're kind of made for each other. Like he is the missing piece in her life and she's the missing piece in his life. And I believe a lot of series try to do this. A lot of rom-coms do this, okay? But sometimes they don't hit it on the nail. I feel like My Dress Up Darling really hit it on the nail. They, they, made, the, they made these two characters connect really well. It kind of feels genuine, right? It, it doesn't feel like it's forced. Whereas some rom-coms, sometimes they, it does tend to feel a little forced. This one feels a lot more fluid and it makes sense, right? She's a cosplayer, he's a doll maker. He makes clothes, she's gonna wear the clothes, right? It, it makes sense. This should also tell us who the anime community is. The anime community as a whole is either extremely horny or extremely lonely. It, it, like it's one of the two. Because I'm extremely shocked that a rom-com did better than Attack on Titan and Demon Slayer. And like that to me is insane, okay? As an anime fan, that's insane. But I'm gonna be straight up y'all horny. And the thing is like, nobody talks about Gojo. I kind of feel bad. Um, on Twitter, it's everybody just talks about Marin. And I get it. You could clearly tell that this anime is targeted towards boys instead of girls. I, I, girls could watch it, but it's you could tell it's targeted towards boys with the way the writing is handled. And you might ask, how do I know this? Um, it's the way the writing is written, right? It's told from the guy's perspective. So yeah, that's pretty obvious. But yeah, I do generally think it's a good anime. I think if you want, if you do like rom-coms, this is definitely a rom-com to check out. If you've never tried a rom-com, this is probably one you should start off with. I've heard good things about Love is War. So yeah, I, I was kind of wrong about rom-com animes. Um, I might give a couple more a try in the future. Not 100% sure. It depends. It, it really, it recommend me some rom-coms and, I'll, and I'll, I'll try them. If they're, if they're good, I'll make a video on them. There you go. But listen, if you want more anime content, manga content, make sure you subscribe, turn on the post notification bell. Um, and as always, I'll be here again next week. So uh, yeah, 
Peace out, everyone.